like where I grew up in Arkansas, there was no black or white. We're all broke, okay? <laughs> What's your color? Poor, okay? <laughs> you know? Racism in this country is a hologram. It's a tool used by the powers that be to keep us, the populace, looking at each other instead of looking up and seeing what they're doing, okay? You know? All it is is a distraction. And it's been working for a long time. And even in, in the 60s and 70s, we got all the uh, legislation passed, Civil Rights Act, Voter Registration Act passed, okay? All these wonderful bills that really leveled the playing field, okay? We had integration. We had people going to school with the, people of different races, okay? People were getting to know each other and realize there's no difference, okay? Forces that be still wanted us looking at each other, all right? And they used it, you know? White people are like, oh, don't, don't go over there. Those black people, they're stealing white babies. Oh, Lord, Jesus, you stay away from them black people. Those black people are going to get you, all right? And black folks, y'all were the same thing. Those white people... <laughs> They're putting stuff in chicken, make your junk fall off. No. -uh. Mm -hmm. That's right. And make the thing drop right off. Sure do. And why did they have us looking at each other? So we wouldn't look up and see how the reason we were in Vietnam wasn't a real reason at all. The Gulf of Tonkin incident was a radar glitch. Okay? But we used it as an escalation point. And what did that cost us? Over 58,000 U.S. lives. Okay? Hundreds of thousands more injured. Okay? What did it cost the country of Vietnam? A million people. Okay? And then they got their way. And we obviously don't give a damn because we're trading with them. They make our Nikes. Okay? You know? <laughs> right? Right. We don't mind. Okay? It doesn't make any sense. But in the 70s, man, white and black were starting to see eye to eye. Things were getting together. Okay? It was disco. Uh, number one show in the country was Sanford and Son. Number three show was Good Times. All right? Why? Because they were well-written shows, but also they showed a different perspective. And white people realized that there's not that much difference between white and black. Okay? The truth of the matter is, it's rich and poor. Uh, like where I grew up in Arkansas, there was no black or white. We're all broke. Okay? <laughs> What's your color? Poor, okay? <laughs> you know? And that's the truth of the matter, you know? When you eat your cereal out of a Cool Whip bowl stained with chili or spaghetti sauce, <laughs> does it really matter if you're black or you're white? You're broke. You're broke. And, you know, it, it, then the 80s happened, and we had this huge influx of Latinos coming north because of a depression in Mexico, and Cuba gets rid of everybody that's not pro-Fidel, and uh, white and black had learned a lesson over the last 20 years. They're all sitting around going, who are all these brown people coming to our country? You know, some of them, maybe you tried their food? That stuff's delicious. And they're like, what? For real? Mm, good as hell, son. Delicious. All right? I met the first Mexican I met was in 1982, June 17th, glorious day, okay? It was a hot day in Arkansas. It was 108, 100% humidity, and it wasn't raining. When the wind blew, it felt like a dog was breathing on you. And uh, <laughs> I got a knock on the door, and there's a little Mexican fellow with his head in his hand saying he'd mow my yard for $10. And I'm like, God damn right you will, all right? You come and do it next week, too. And... Uh, why not? My mom paid me twenty dollars to do it. You know, <laughs> I figure I give him ten. I made ten. Now I'm a supervisor. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> In the '80s, we had the uh, the Soviets. That was the big thing. Everybody thought the Soviets were gonna get us. I remember those commercials where they showed us, and they never showed us what real Soviet kids look like. We never would have pointed our missiles at them. That's not our country, you know? Blonde hair, blue eyes, whiter than we are, going, excuse me, sir, can I have some more? All right? You know? We never would have blown those kids up. What, what did we see? We saw guys in big furry hats, goose-stepping like the Wicked Witch of the West Guard. Oh, we, oh, oh, oh. All right? And big missiles on big trucks and bears. <laughs> I was more scared of the bears than I was the bombs. I didn't know what a nuclear was at 10. I knew if they dropped those bears on us, we're fucked. Okay? <laughs> those bears, oh, God. They're everywhere. And that's why we made movies in, during the 80s like Red Dawn, where we showed those dirty Soviets killing Soda Pop and Pony Boy and somebody putting Baby in the corner and <laughs> Wolverines. And then Judd Nelson, ended, he had his hand up like that. I know. What's funny is no one under 25 realizes I just melted four movies into one. That's what's funny. All right? <laughs> and, uh, you got some Netflix homework to do, player. You got some Netflix homework to do. But in 1991, after we uh, bankrupted the Soviet Union, 
and, they, uh, and you know, it broke up. Basically, we experienced the greatest amount of growth any nation's ever experienced in the history of the world. Why? Because white, black, and brown were finally working together, okay? And that we were living Dr. King's dream, okay? That we were working together. And all that changed on a Tuesday morning in 2001 when Arabs flew airplanes into buildings and boom, we had a brand new race war. We had white, black, and brown versus a new kind of brown, okay? And... <laughs> And that's where we're at now, okay? The Muslim is gonna get you. The Muslim is gonna get you. The Muslim is gonna get you tonight. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. They want us to be afraid. I'm sorry. I have a real hard time being afraid of a dude who's wearing a dress down below his knees and uh, flip-flops, okay? If you're dressed like my mama going down to Galveston Beach, I'm really not that afraid of you, you know what I'm saying? you kind of dressed like a pussy, dude, you know what I mean? Maybe that's just the Southern in me, but if I can stub your toe and put you out of the fight, I'm not really that afraid, okay? But it is interesting, you know, since then, what's happened, and we just allow it to, you know. We allow the government to listen to our phones and our emails and everything, and we just give up our personal liberties. And Benjamin Franklin said it best. If you give up liberty for security, you deserve neither and you will get neither. Do you understand what I mean? Okay? It's not our country. We have to get back to who we are as a kind of nation. They can kill an individual, but they didn't kill America. Okay? There's no way they could kill America. Okay? Because America's not a thing. It's a dream. It's a, it's a way of thinking. It's a group of people from all corners of the earth living under a document that starts with three simple words. We the people. And, and people forget about that. You know, they think, that, oh, they're going to get us. No, they're not. All right? And who are we fighting? 1% of 1%. Okay? There's 1.8 billion of them. Okay? But we're fighting 1% of 1% of them. Okay? That's who we're fighting. And who are we fighting them with? The best of our world. Our U.S. servicemen and women. These guys are incredible. They're incredible. Aren't they? Amazing. In 22 years of stand-up, I've been in 19 USO tours. And it is, uh, it's awe-inspiring to see these men and women. These are guys that give up their whole lives. And, and the people they leave behind, your families, you, you are the unsung heroes too. Because you didn't volunteer, okay? You know, your, your son or daughter did. Or your husband or your wife did. You know, you, you people left behind have a burden to bear too. Because you're afraid every time you watch CNN or something that your child's name might scroll across the bottom. Thank you for your sacrifice. I hope this nation is good enough to give them back to you. You know? They're incredible. They really are.